uh, our friend, uh, the Chief Minister of Jharkhand, he was also detained. He went to uh, Raj Bhavan and submitted his resignation because he knew what would happen. If he went to jail as a sitting Chief Minister, uh, the BJP would have uh, used the constitution to impose President's rule. Uh, that is now my worry for Delhi, uh, that if the Aam Admi Party insists on retaining Arvind Kejriwal as Chief Minister from jail, uh, the center will use this as an excuse and uh, quite possibly uh, impose president's rule uh, in New Delhi. Uh, so, uh, I, I, I mean, like I said, uh, Arvind Kejriwal is not the first and I fear he won't be the last. This will happen. Earlier such type of activities was not visible, but it is now open and anything can no. happen in future now? We have been saying since 2019, even before that, that democratic institutions in this country are at risk. One by one, democracy in this country uh, is sort of, uh, is being hollowed out. Uh, this attempt is being made to reduce India to a country of one religion and one political power. And, and that is now visible to you. Uh, bills like the CAA, uh, they are designed to, to uh, make India uh, one, uh, a country of one religion. Uh, these sort of uh, arbitrary arrests and, and uh, sort of actions against only opposition parties. Now, read uh, one of the main newspapers today, the Indian Express. They have said uh, that 95% of the enforcement directorate cases today are against opposition uh, political leaders. Now, what does that tell you? It is Delhi and it's the present CM. God forbid, can we expect from Jammu and Kashmir also in future for the purpose of election? Expect anything. Please expect anything, which is why we are fighting so hard to tell people that uh, democracy is at risk. The BJP has hollowed out democracy. Uh, voting for the BJP or its B team, C team, D team is, is tantamount to accepting uh, what they have done in the country and what they have done to Jammu and Kashmir, which we are not willing to accept. If I'm not wrong, can you say the statement of Amit Shah was related that whether BJP will come in power in Jammu and Kashmir or not, but Parivarwad should be over? No, that is an appeal to the voter. I don't want to link that to what has happened to Arvind Kejriwal. Uh, what uh, the Honorable Home Minister has said is nothing new. Every time they talk about Jammu and Kashmir, they talk about this. Even the Prime Minister, uh, the other day when he was in the stadium addressing all the government employees, uh, he talked about uh, families. I have always said this and I continue to maintain, the BJP has no problem with political families. Their only problem is with political families that are opposed to the BJP. Otherwise, please explain to me, how do they justify an alliance with Chirag Paswan? Is Chirag Paswan uh, not Parivarwad? Uh, how do they justify uh, calling Raj Thakre and trying to have an alliance with him? Is that not Parivarwad? Uh, look at the number of leaders in the BJP who are second or third generation politicians, uh, ministers, MLAs. Uh, sitting, a sitting MP in uh, Delhi uh, was unseated and removed and replaced by uh, the late Shushma Swaraj's daughter. Is that not Parivarwad? So, as I said, BJP has no problem with Parivarwad. BJP has problem with those Parivar that are opposed to the BJP. And I have no problem with that. What about the PDP statement? They said that they were fully ready to provide all seats to national conference, but national conference in Hari they took their own decision. We haven't taken a decision in Hari. What what decision did we take in a Hari? We informed them of this months in advance. If you remember, uh, when the first coordination committee meeting of the India Alliance took place in Mr. Sharad Pawar Sahib's residence in Delhi, when we came out, what did I say? At that time when the media asked me, I said that those seats that are with the India Alliance already should not be discussed. We will discuss those seats that are held by the BJP or allies of the BJP. This was not a decision taken in a hurry. We are saying that those seats that are with the India Alliance are the best seats in the India Alliance. What is the benefit of talking about that? You raise a very important point. Will the Kajriwal's arrest effect uh, on India Alliance? He was one of the main leaders of the India Alliance. Clearly, uh, at the moment, we'll have to factor in the inability of, of Arvind Kejriwal to campaign. Now, whether it will have an impact on uh, voters and the seats that Amadmi Party is contesting, that only... <laughs>
नमस्कार मैं हूं मानक गुप्ता अगर आपको हमारा ये वीडियो पसंद आया हो तो इसे लाइक और शेयर जरूर करें और हाँ हमें सब्सक्राइब और फॉलो करना ना भूलें ताकि आप देश और दुनिया की कोई खबर मिस ना करें तो जुड़े रहिए हमारे साथ और देखते रहिए न्यूज ट्वेंटी